Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. What was that clap? I don't know. So, I may have done a thing. I may have done a thing. Yesterday, when I'm filming it, filming this, um, was World Book Day. So, Watchstone said, well, let's have some double stamps. And I went, I wonder what I can pre-order. So I may have done that. I may have done a bit pre-ordering. Because here's this thing, as long as you order it on the day when it's double stamps, then your order, whenever it arrives, is going to be double stamps. See, this is clever thinking. I mean, it's, it's a way to get you to spend money, but it's stamps. The stamps, you want the stamps. So um, I'm just gonna bring up the like ordering <laughs> on my phone. Um, go on to the Watchstones app, Sasuwa. Um, and just like go through the one by one. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens, okay, it happens. But at least I'm getting double stamps, okay? At least it's that. So, um, <laughs> order placed on March 7th. Uh, okay, so the top first one, it's not top first, they, they, they are in a random order, as it were, it's just, I think it's from which book you put in when in the basket, I don't know, I, I really don't know, it tends to change for me. Anyway, so the first one that's on the list is The Bell Witches by Lindsay Kelk, now this is the new... Uh, YA witchy series. Um, I think it's called Let's see. I thought it said didn't it say? Um, it said Savannah Red um, I think that's what the series is called. So I Mean I could read the synopsis, but I don't wanna. Okay. I don't wanna um but this one, so I'm going to say like the dates from what it says now. It, it should be kind of accurate as it's just been a day since I did the order. Um, but I mean, these dates tend to change as the year goes. I mean, from the, the last uh, video like this, I since the last time I did uh, like all my pre-orders, I think it was called, video i have a hiccup okay excuse me um a lot of the dates on that has changed like some of them aren't even coming out this year anymore Ugh. anyway so yeah there's that so that book is set to come out on september 26th um and i'm very excited because i heard about this at yalk last year and i was like Lindsay Kelk is writing a YA witchy book. Yeah, I want in on this. I want in on this, so I'm very excited. I don't know how um, how big this series is going to be, but I mean, there's at least going to be two books since this one is apparently saying book one. Um, I don't think there is a cover for it yet, but... I guess we're gonna have to wait but I'm expecting good things about this book okay I'm expecting great things so moving on because I could talk about this click all day okay yeah okay moving on to let's see it's Stephanie Garber's spectacular I need to sneeze okay spectacular so this is a Caraval novella um I'm pretty sure uh it's I think it's supposed to be set like after the Caraval series. So this is set to come out on October 22nd. Um, yeah, that's about what I know from it. I saw Lucy, I think it was Lucy who posted like from Stephanie Garber uh, on her Insta stories like a good couple of weeks ago now um, that this was coming out and I'm, I'm actually quite excited. Um, so thank you Lucy for hinting that for me. So. Yes, I did put it in my basket. <laughs> Moving on, because we have quite a few. 
So the next one is the second book in, oh, I, I don't know what that series is called, but it's, let's see, what is, where is the first book? What's it called? Is it The Ties That Bind? I just noticed that my cats have pushed in a bunch of books over there, so that's great. Where is H? 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 Hello? Oh, no. Here we go. I found it. I found it. So, um, the first book is called Threads That Bind by, I'm gonna butcher this, Kika Hatsupul Poodle Polo. Sorry. I met her yelk. She was lovely and I'm butchering her. I should have asked, how is your name pronounced, honestly? <sighs> so I can get it right. This is what I should do when I meet authors or people in general. How is your name pronounced? Teach me your ways. <laughs> anyway, um, the second book, Hearts That Cuts, is set to come out on June 20th. I'm so excited about this one because that one ends on a freaking cliffhanger. It's like, it's a bit Greek mythology, but modern based, uh, like the ancestors of said uh greek gods and stuff uh and it's 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 a very short book considering but it's packed it's jam packed it's it's good it's so good it's intrigue it's everything um also stunning covers yes um so i'm super excited about this one and i i cannot wait um i, I really kind of want to reread the first one but also i just want to get back into it <laughs> Next up is one of my faves. Well, a lot of these are my faves, let's let's be honest. But Lucy Vine's new book, Dates with Destiny, comes out on May May 9th. Me trying to figure out which numbers meant which month is hard. Um May 9th. Um I don't know what it's about. I'm gonna guess it's one of those funny rom-coms because it has also for one that's what she writes as like up until now that's what she's published uh, and also the cover for it gives you those vibes 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 <laughs> bloody love her though so <sighs> bloody love them bloody love them oh next up is very exciting so this is a new author yes but she's also a youtuber yes um so it is a rewitch by lucy jane wood uh someone i've been watching for years and it's creepy saying that honestly but uh there we go um like so in recent times i guess <laughs> um, um she started making more like book content and stuff and i bloody love it i i feel like a lot of the things she said about the books i've read anyway um really like connect so i'm very excited to see like her her book uh as it were so i'm super excited to to read this also witches witchiness all that jazz um cover to be revealed so that's a bit sad but yes i am excited i am excited i think she got like at least a two book deal or something like that i'm not sure um but something like that so that is set to come out on september 19th uh super excited yes i am i did so usually I keep, um, like on the Waterstones app, I usually keep a running basket, I guess, full of like books that are coming out or like just see around that I'm like, I want to look into this. Um, so before I do the or actual ordering as it were, then I go through the whole basket and stuff so when sh lucy posted that video uh that she was actually publishing a book uh which has been like 
it, there has been like hints, but now we got the actual news. So I it was very quick to put that in the basket. Yes, I were. Yes, I were. Yes, I was. Next book is not actually a book for me, although I want to read this book and the whole series, but it's The Last Devil to Die, um, the fourth book in the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. So um, this is the paperback that's coming out and it's a book for my mum. Uh, this one is set to come out on May 9th, so hopefully it will come just in time for her birthday. I seriously doubt it because post coming to me takes ages. Um, but yeah, I, I have ordered that for her because uh, I got her all the, the three books um, leading up to the fourth one um, for Christmas. And um, yeah, the the fifth, the fifth, the fourth one is coming out on paperback. She wanted them on paperback, okay. Um, although saying that, there is a new book by him that's coming out this year. I don't remember when, um, but it was like cat mystery, murder, murder mystery. I think it was like a dad and his daughter kind of vibes. I don't know, um, but it had like very cool end pages and stuff. So. I was a bit like, <laughs> I wanna, but also, he's he's not a priority author right now for me, although I do want to get into it. Anyway, so next up we have uh, Killjoy. So Killjoy is like the prequel novella to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. So this is the like special edition hardback that's coming out and uh, I pre-ordered, I have the first one, um, I have the first one, yes, and I, I did pre-order book number two and three as well, and I was a bit like, oh, we're not guessing the, the novella as well, oh, oh, well, never mind, it's fine, um, but then it popped up, and I was like, yes, please, yes, please, um, that is set to come out on September 26th, um, so I think that's after all the other ones have come out, so we'll see. Okay, so the next three books are um, technically books I own in paperback, um, but they are being re-released as, well, they have been out in hardback, I'm not gonna lie, but they are being re-released as a, I think it's author's preferred text version. Um, so I think they've been revised and stuff, I don't know. Um, I want to read the paperbacks before I get into the hardbacks, but I did get the, the first one, so I'm like, yeah, I should just get the rest of them as well to match, you know? So, kind of in order of, like, here, I don't know if it's the actual book order, but never mind. So it's The Mime Order, The Song Rising, and The Mask Falling, all by Samantha Shannon. And they're all coming out on the same date, which is uh, May 9th. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about that. I do want to read the original <laughs> version first, and then I want to read the, uh, the new ones. Uh, so we'll see about that, but they will be matching. I just need to get them signed as well, don't I? They're gonna be like this thick, aren't they? Because all her other books are like chunky boys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think we might be getting to the end now, but also I might be lying. Um, next up is a book I have read, but it popped up. It doesn't have, it, it doesn't even have a cover reveal yet. It just popped up and it says vintage quarter bound classics hardback. And I was like, okay, sure. I, I really like that book. So why not get a like, special edition of it. I did check to see if um, her other book was gonna be coming out like this as well, but um, as far as I can see for now, that makes no sense. Um, I can't I can't see anything about that right now, but I will be keeping my eye out because, yes. So, <laughs> the book I'm talking about is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So that is set to come out on April 4th. Um, and I'm I'm kind of excited about it because I really did like that book, so it's 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 fun. Although I don't know what the cover is gonna look like, so that could be interesting. But yeah, it, it was that whole 
vintage quarter band classics. Hardback. <laughs> Next up, we have the last song of Penelope by Claire North. So this is, I think it's the third book um, in this series. I'm not sure what the series is called. Anyway, um, I, I have the second book. I need to get the first book as well um, at some point. <laughs> but it's all Greek mythology and it intrigues me, okay? Um, so when I saw next book coming up, uh, I was like, yes, gimme. I think the first one is called Ithaca, don't quote me on it, um, but this one is set to come out on June 20th, um, so yeah, exciting. I will have to get book one before I start reading that series, but okay. I love that I'm buying books for an author in like book two and three in a series and I haven't even read the first one or anything by said author. Yeah. So I don't know if I like the writing, but there we go. It's Greek mythology that's dragging me in, I'm not going to lie. Next up is a chunky chunky boy, I'm presuming anyway, because the first book was a very chunky chunky book. So it's uh, the second book to Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff. Uh, this one is called Empire of the Damned, and this is the paperback version. So it's not set to come out until... 13th of February 13th next year, so 2025. Um, but I saw that it was there and I was like, yes, I want the paperback version because uh, for some reason I just do. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to reread that chunky first book as well. Whew. It was interesting. It was very. It was Interview with a Vampire meets something that I can't remember, but it was something something along those lines. It was a bit of a Interview with a Vampire ripoff, but I still want to know what happens, okay? I still want to know. All right, next up is Song of the Six Realms by Judy Eileen. She is uh, the author of the book, book T, book, what was it? Book of Tea. Close enough. Book of Tea duology, which I have here somewhere. I think I think it's right there. Um, it was all like tea magic and things, and it was. I really liked the first book. The second book, it didn't it didn't fulfill as many things as the first book did, but it does. Uh, it, it it is a whole thing, and I did actually really like the the duology so i'm excited about this one um the six realms and i know it's like chinese mythology base and the six realms makes me think of six crimson cranes um <laughs> so any any connection i don't know um different authors so you know uh that is set to come out on april 23rd and these two i i don't know. I have no answer for this one. So this is book number two and book number three of a series. I have not read book number one, nor do I own it, nor have I ever read anything else by this author. I mean, this has already happened once in this video, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, at least these are paperback and are kind of cheaper, but still. So the second book is called The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. And the third one is called The Christmas Tree Farm. So, uh, Cinnamon Bun Bookstore comes out August 29th and Christmas Tree Farm comes out October 24th. Hello, Tom. You helping? Are your feet wet, by the way? Yes, they are. Get off my laptop, please. Thank you, sir. What's the first one called? It's something this pumpkin spice cafe. Uh, the author is Laurie Gilmore. I've not read it. I've heard very, very mixed reviews about the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, but something about it just draws me in. So apparently that makes me need to pre-order book two and three. I have no words for myself, okay? I have no words for myself. So let's count them on, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, sixteen books. Wow. 
Also, does it say down here how many I did? Sometimes it does. No, it did not. It does say I will uh, earn 50 plus stamps when when all of this has been dispatched. So there's that. That's like... Yeah, that's 50 pounds. <laughs> Oh my god, maths. <laughs> For every 10 stamps, you get 10 pounds. So 50 stamps equals 50 pounds. Maths. Also, I need to sneeze again. Yeah, so... Oh, I've got tears in my eyes. Um, so, yeah, 50, 50 pounds of buying books later on in life. <laughs> I am so sorry. Um, the balcony was open, so all that cold fresh air and the warm air in here is making me go whoo oh uh. anyway um yeah that was me being a bit dilulu thinking yes i'm earning so many things from you know pre-ordering and double stamps <laughs> I mean, if you if you work it out, I, I think the order's for like over £300. I could check. Let's check. <laughs> oh no, it's only like £250. Only, she says. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this is why I shouldn't be allowed to be in charge of myself. Anyway, I don't regret it yet. Also... You can always, you know, cancel orders, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I won't get those stamps if I cancel, but... Anyway, um, yes, this has been me being a bit Delulu, pressing that order button and expecting joy. I mean, I did get a lot of joy from pressing that button. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, have you pre-ordered anything? Did you buy anything on World Book Day or what? what's up? Um, but yeah, let me know. And, uh, you know, until next time, take care. Oh, bye-bye.